I demonstrate a speech, I'm going to be showing you how to set up an Xbox 360 with an Xbox Live account using a Wi-Fi adapter for internet connection. And before you can use that, you need a telephone pole for your internet, which will have cables coming to the side of your house to go through it and into your house, like here. To give your computer internet so you can set it up with an internet connection. After you find where your cords will come in through your house, you'll want to get a connector for your computer or your phone and it will loop around an entrance or wherever it's come in. So it's had a loop around here, this white cord, which gives all the internet in the house or wherever you may live and you will need a modem and a router for your Wi-Fi and internet and the modem gives out Wi-Fi and the router lets it route and sends out different connections so there can be multiple things connected to the modem and these two things are essential if you want to have Wi-Fi. One main step I forgot to mention was you have to buy your Xbox. After you open your Xbox and take everything out of the box, you should have a controller, a headset, the hard drive, the AV cords, your power block, and another cord that connects to the power block, and then you would plug into an outlet. So first you want to take your hard drive and push it on to the top next and you're, you're going to take your power block and take the connector for your power block and connect them and then you'll take the plug part of your connector and plug it into an outlet anywhere you have them and this is where you would plug in the power block. When it's all connected perfectly it should have a green light on. And you can take your Xbox and look at the bottom and find this plug which will go with this and you'll push it in there. And then you take your power block and you just throw it on the floor somewhere where it won't be in the way. Now here on a TV you need the AV cords to plug in there, but I have to show you where to plug it in first. So you look at the top here where you have a USB spot and another spot for if you don't have wireless. And you also have your HDMI plug-in spot, but we're just going to use AV cord plug-in spot which is right up here now after you get your AV cords set up in the back of your Xbox you're going to want to plug them into your TV and these are what you need to plug into your TV but we won't use this red one and you're ready to turn on your TV and also you're ready to turn on your after you have all your cords set up you want to turn around your Xbox so you can see it and you can see the disc tray. And you can press this button, this button, or you can take your controller and hit this button. And if it came with your Xbox, then it should already be connected to that Xbox. After you have your Xbox plugged in with all the cords in and it turn it on, you're going to have to make a profile. Or if you have one already, you have to put it on the Xbox. So you can do that by going into here to sign in or out, and you can, when you sign out, you can make a profile, or you can do it by hitting the X button again on your Xbox. And I'm to sign out, and you just go to create profile. But I already have one for this right now. You can 
connect to Xbox Five or not, but we don't have a wireless adapter inside yet, so you're gonna want to push your Xbox back if it's on the edge, like mine is. And then I'm gonna show you a wireless adapter. That's a wireless adapter. It has a USB plug-in port for the port. Cost and it's about two and ten. Fifty to sixty dollars where you buy it, it matters. Oh, it can cost cheaper at some places. There are two spots you can plug it in. One is under here. If you lift this little door in, there's two USB ports. And on the back, where we plug in the AV cords, then right on the top is another USB. But we're going to be using these front two USB ports. So you're just going to take this and push it, line up with the USB port and push it in. And then it'll keep the door open and it'll stay in there. And when you're when it's fully in, this little light will start blinking green. Yeah. But this little light will start going green, and when you're fully connected to Xbox Live, it will glow like it is now, or when it's ready to connect. So since you need a Windows Live ID account to create your Xbox Live account, which I can't use since I used it to create my Xbox Live account, I'll just show you what you can do when you've created your Xbox Live account. You can manage your friends, have a party with eight people, Send messages, have beacons and activity, chat and I am, and play whatever games in your disc tray. And whatever game you have that's multiplayer, you can play on multiplayer Xbox Live. Like multiplayer for Far Cry 2.